Hi, it's Redheaded Riding Hood here, Red for short. I'm gonna read you William Barclay's Daily Celebration. On the Road, part one. Anyone who is interested in railways is bound to know the books of O.S. Knock. In his book, British Steam Railways, he has a chapter about the early days of railways when the railways were growing up and when travel was still an adventure. <laughs> travel is still an adventure. In it, he tells how more than a hundred years ago now, there was published a little book of official advice to travelers entitled Official Guide to the Northwestern Railway, solemnly dedicated to the most noble, the Marquis of Candos. One section of this little guide was entitled, Hints Before Starting. The first three hints were as follows. Before commencing a journey, the traveler should decide, one, whither he is going, two, by what railway train and when, three, whether he will have to change carriages at any point and where. Then later on, there is this. The traveler is advised to take as little luggage as possible. And ladies are earnestly <laughs> entreated not to indulge in more than seven boxes, five small parcels for the longest journey. There is a good deal of sense in this for travelers and more than railways. There is a good deal of sense for those making the journey of life. Yeah, I'm going to be downsizing again with my stuff. Whether I'm going to be moving in February or not, I'm going to downsize because I have too much stuff again. You could hardly give a young person beginning on the journey of life better advice than is contained in these rules. Anyone setting out on the journey of life ought to make up his mind clearly, firmly, and early where he is going. This is good. He may not get there, but he, he will at least be trying to get somewhere. That's right. The person who does not know where he is going will literally get nowhere fast. Broadly speaking, the young person who starts out on the journey of life will have one of two aims. He will start out either to give or to get, either to do all that he can for the world and his fellow men are to try to make the world and his fellow man do all that he can make them do for him. He will think either of the satisfaction of a job or the pay for a job. To put it crudely, he will either want a job where he can be of service to his fellow men, even if the pay is not lavish, or he will want the kind of job which he visualizes as finishing up with a Rolls Royce and an unlimited expense account. In making his choice, he will do well to remember a thing dear Ing, Dean Ing, I-N-G-E, I don't know how that's pronounced, Ing, once said, the bored people are those who are consuming much but producing little. And that's the end of that one. Tomorrow is part two of On the Road. Don't say that no one cares for you because I do and God does too. Don't forget to pray for Red because Red is praying for you. Bye.